Now putters are not the most exciting product and although I can already predict cries of it's the most huge club in the bag, we still tend to get less excited by them compared with a new driver. Well that's about to change because the new profile of the Lab Golf DF3 is going to persuade the minds of the weak amongst us to convert our religion and lead you to putting utopia. You see the original Lab Golf DF 2.1 was like putting with a spaceship on the end of a flagpole and as effective as it might have been, most of us are not able to stand so far away from the crowd. Let's be honest, most golfers are more likened to sheep than shepherds. As many of you will know, I am personally sold on the concept of lying on balanced putters, and for those of you who've been living under a rock, here's a quick reminder of how this technology works. This is toe hang, and this is face balance. Each needs some form of manipulation to return to square and impact. With lie angle balanced, it stays square by itself. And to be honest, until you try on for yourself, this review is meaningless and probably hard to believe that it might actually work. Now, will this put a hole every put? Because some of you will inevitably misinterpret what I have just said to mean exactly that. So to be clear, no, it won't. You see, as golfers, we need to read a put and be able to control pace. So what does it do? It sets the ball off on your intended target line by keeping the club head square with zero torque. Now by torque, I mean twisting, and that's why they call this thing fully automatic. You simply have to learn to let the putter do its thing, and that's not easy either. You see, we want to get all handsy and manipulate. It's what we've had to do. With this, less is more if you like. Let the balance of the putter face work its magic. Now many of you will want to know how this compares to the Mez, and I will tell you within this video. A quick note on price, this is £459 in the UK, and is exactly the same price point as the Mez. I just want to give some immediate feedback before we go too far into the video. These are literally the first rolls I've had with this putter on this green. And I've got to say, the one thing that is so surprising is just how nice this sits at a dress. It sets you up almost in a perfect putting position, in my opinion, and that's a lot to do with the way the, uh, the actual head itself sits on the ground, the way the sort of shaft lean is automatically adopted, thanks to the way that that shaft is set into this club head, and it just gives you a very comfortable position before you've even started. So you're not messing around like I've done many times in the past, trying to find where my hand should be and how that head should sit at a dress. That's got to be the most difficult putt imaginable to uh, test out the sort of feel and, uh, well, control of pace really. And that's again something that's very different in this putter than the Mez putter that I've tried and you've seen uh, for the last year or so in my hands. I've got an Acra shaft in this, which is supposedly um, presents a, a much softer feel. And again, whether or not it's the putter face, because as I understand, that's not changed, so the shaft has made a bit of a difference, but it's certainly got a softer feel than the original Mez that I tried. A couple of things on the comparison note as well. What was very strange, I've already mentioned that they've shrunk down the size of the DF3 considerably from what DF2.1, but when you put it next to the Mez that I had, then um, yeah, it's still quite a bulky putter, but there's no way I would have thought there were any difference in sort of size and stature. Um, without putting them side by side. But as you can see, it's a considerable difference. The one thing I like and prefer about the DF3 is the alignment aid that I chose, which I mentioned that sort of very simple T-bar. It sits right at the front of the club face and it's a very simplistic but very effective alignment aid. And just seems to, again, you know, you give me your opinion, they're side by side when I'm looking down at them. What I'm seeing is a, is a much squarer, that front line, gives me a much squarer sort of setup and address in terms of that alignment. So yeah, I really like all the tweaks that I've made to this putter and their choices that perhaps I just learned from the setup in the Mez that I've adopted into the DF3. And you'll notice again, the grip is different. I wasn't overly keen and considered changing. Whilst I love the forward press concept, the rounded feel of this shaft I've got on the Mez is far different than the pistol grip and again this is much more preferable from my personal idea of what is nice and comfortable at a dress but like I said one thing I like is that there are so many options for you to choose from whether that be grip or whether that be alignment aid. Now see the interesting thing for me is that as much as this video will hopefully try and explain 
what it's like to use a lie angle balance putter. I think unless you give it a go for yourself, you just can't grasp the concept at all because it's so, so different. When I'm swinging this club head now, and we've been through this sort of concept, how it all works, you can't grasp it until you get it in your hands. It is so, so different. But in my opinion, so effective at the same time. I'm trying to switch between the two. The first notable difference, I don't know the head weight of either, but um, it seems considerably heavier in, uh, in the DF3. And again, that's something that is a preference for me personally. I've always gone for um, a fairly heavy 400 gram almost in a lot of the mallets that I've used, 400 gram plus. So I like to feel that weight at the bottom. I wouldn't take anything from the alignment or where they both finish. I simply just learnt a little bit from the first one. But there is a noticeable difference with that feel element. And uh, I have no idea whether that's down to the shaft or down to any changes in the head. But that is, like I said, from the previous uh, discussion, big, big difference. And the one new addition to the DF3 is for the lazy amongst us, it picks up your ball really easy. Today's video is sponsored by our friends at Hot Golf, the online golf retailer for all major brands. And if you want new golf gear, then please support us by supporting them. Two things to mention about quality is the quality of these greens at Wallasey Golf Club. It's a big shout out to John and the team. I can't believe just how good these are and that's why we're doing putter videos in the UK on this golf course. The other point to mention about quality is the head covers that Lab Golf produce. If I've always said, if you're paying big money, whether that be a driver or a putter, then it needs to be quality from start to finish. Now, what I had in the mares was a nice tan leather, but I've got to admit they've ramped it up even more in the DF3, and it just oozes quality. Do you know what, I don't think there's a great deal more I can do, uh, other than, like I said, you've got to try these things for yourself to fully understand the concept, and just how good these lab golf putters are. I've already said that I think they will very much move the needle in the uh, putter genre, and I think more and more professionals, tour professionals, will put these in the bag. I think that's gonna inspire amateur golfers to give them a try because like I've already said we're very much more like sheep than shepherds when it comes to choosing our product line and we need some guidance and we need to follow somebody this stuff has been incredible I sort of suggested back in I think it was November of 2022 when I first tried the Mez that this would revolutionize the putting game I think that maybe that's a big word to use revolutionize but I think you're going to see more and more of these clubs creeping into the bags of tour players and therefore see more and more of them at retail and in our bags at the amateur level. It's just a really, really good product. It's expensive, but you've got to go and try these out for yourself to fully understand and appreciate just what the concept is and whether it works for you because just because I say it's a positive idea, it works in my hands, it might not necessarily for you. So where you can, get one of these in your hands and give it a go. Right, that's me done. Thanks for watching. Thanks to Wallasey Golf Clubs for allowing us to use these greens. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all soon.